hello everyone welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to all my new subscribers I am back with another video and in this video I will be sharing the products that I will be trying in this new year 2018 I hope your year is going so far so well and uh, please let me know there in the comment box below the type of videos you would like to see from me and uh, that way I can make sure I'm making videos that people actually want to watch. Here are the first product, the Fenty Beauty product. <laughs> I did venture out and purchase some Fenty products. Two foundations and I have to get two colors because, you know, this one seems like it has a lot of red in it and this one is lighter so maybe perhaps I will have to mix these two, which I have to do a lot, you know. I did get the contour stick which came in a pack like this but I think you can also buy them separately yeah you can buy them separately because I know I did buy a couple other ones separately some other colors that I saw separately like the chili mango I had to get the kilowatt which looked like this Oh, this is so beautiful. And the packaging, the packaging is very beautiful. It's my Ray Ray palette. I was so excited to see this. And when I received it, I actually played in it a little bit. Not in everything. I mainly went straight for the highlighter and I did try some of the shadows. And this product is so pigmented. Like she did so so well with this product and uh, one thing about it's my Riri. one thing I like about her like she has some of the most amazing techniques like I have learned so much from her techniques how she applied makeup you know and how she makes you believe that you can truly uh, do your makeup with affordable products and these are her brushes right here and like these are in like really beautiful colors so she did really good i mean i love the the i love the makeup so far and the packaging the color of the brushes very beautiful the juvia's place this is the nubian by juvia's place this is like one of their older palette it's more of a neutral however i've never tried it i've seen so many people do tutorials on this so i finally decided to wanted to try and i think this is good i do have the yellow palette which i love and um we'll be trying this because it has a lot of neutral colors which i can play with i decided to order both these palettes this is a saharan blush volume one and this is a saharan blush volume two just because i couldn't decide on what to order so this is a volume two and it has like a more of the pinkish and the browns and these these right here will work like really good as highlighters so these are very beautiful colors and i also did order this right here this is one bold color just have to woo. i know all of their palettes are pigmented so if you didn't know i'm letting you know all their palettes even the yellow one that i have is very pigmented so i'm very excited about all these products and this one they have a code that i always use it's woman of color woc so i just got it from somebody's video and every time I'm ordering from them i put that code in and it's it's been working so let's move on to some hair products i have some mark anthony products right here i did find coupons and then walgreen was having a sale on these so it came out at a really good affordable price so i decided to try and this one is just 100 percent coconut oil and it's the extra virgin well i bought it because it was on sale because it's just coconut oil i have coconut oil but it was a good deal with my coupon so i'll be trying this I have used cream of nature here and there but i truly never like dived into cream of nature like use your shampoo and conditioner and all of that so i will be trying the soft and free moisture and shine shampoo which i heard like so many good things about and 
not sure why I'm still here and still haven't tried it. And then next I'll be trying the coconut milk. This is the leave-in and it's in a cream form. Right now I've been using just leave-in um, liquid conditioners. But I will be trying this which is like in a cream form. And I also have the shampoo and the conditioner from the coconut milk line. And I also have the foaming mousse curl quench from the coconut milk line as well. And I have uh, this one is the... Uh, uh, day and night hair and scalp conditioner so this is supposed to be like a form of grease from cream of nature so you guys know I love grease and I have the coil calm detangle by Cantu this was actually a gift I went to a lady's house she had an event at her house and she was giving out gift bags and this one is in my gift bag so I will I have so I, I think the Kentu Deep Conditioner but Kentu also is the line that I never really venture out to try so I will be trying this as well. And I do have the Kemet Biologics products right here. Um, two of these products are new to me however I have tried the Alma, I have tried the Alma Olive Oil, Alma and Olive Heavy Cream with Castor Oil and I really love it. It's really thick, very moisturizing, and is awesome for this time of the year where it's super cold. And these I've never tried. This is butter root buttercream, um, softening and moisturizes fine thin hair. I have never tried this, and this is the Egyptian wheatgrass tea. It's a cleanser. Um, it's a cleanse, but it's actually a shampoo as well. The next item I will be trying is the Camille Rose Naturals Almond J Twisting Butter. Okay, this product did cost me $18.18, I believe. I know everybody was saying the, dollar, the product is $16. But however, when I went to the store, it was $16.99. So to me, that was $17. So by the time I finished paying that with tax, it came down to $18. So when I left Target and I went to the local beauty supply store to get some items, I did see the same product that was $19 something. So I guess Target actually had a better deal on this. I know when people review this, one of like the best thing for the product is the smell. So many people love the smell of this. And it does have a, a great smell to it, but to me the smell is too strong. When a product has a, a smell that's like this strong, after a few days, it starts to smell in my hair. The good smell is gone and then it turns into, you know, some stinky hair smell. But I will be trying this to see. I, I don't know if this product is going to work. But I'm definitely going to review this. I don't have high hopes for this product. So that means the product has to work really, really, really hard to impress me. But I did comment in under so many people's videos that I will be trying this product this year so I have to do it and get it out of my system let me know which videos you want to see any reviews of any of these products if you want to see me do some makeup let me know because I'm actually thinking about doing like very 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 simple makeup looks so please please let me know what you would like to see don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video Bye.